let us check how to draw equivalent circuit for auto transform. So let's say V1 is applied voltage on primary side. And V2 is secondary side voltage available. Secondary voltage across load. And I1 is primary current. I2 would be secondary current or load current. Then N1 is the number of turns between A and B. हमने देखा A और B के बीच में जो number of turns है वहां primary supply दी हा जा रहा है तो that is number of turns between A and B points and N2 would be number of turns between B and C points. C is the tapping available on the secondary side. Okay. So neglecting no load current and the leakage reactances and losses broadly we can say V1 is equal to induced EMF E1 and V2 is equal to induced EMF E2. So transformation ratio can also be written on the same line as two winding transformer that is K is equal to V2 upon V1 is equal to E2 upon E1 is equal to I1 upon I2. So here this is also on the same line as the two winding, winding transformer. But what happens? Hum direction of current dekhenge. So as the secondary ampere turns are opposite primary ampere turns. So current I2 is also in phase opposition with I1. Or secondary voltage is less than the primary voltage. Current I2 would be more than the current I1 from this relation. Okay, so resulting current flowing through section B, C is B or C ke beech mein jo current flow ho raha hai. Current flowing through this section would be difference of I2 and I1. I2 zada hai, I1 kam hai. We can call this component I2 minus I1. Just like primary mein voltage zada hai, to secondary mein kam hai. So current would be less in primary. More in secondary. So, this is the benefit of the auto transformer. It is the copper saving. Ka. How we can save the copper material in it? Firstly, before going to equivalent circuit, let's see that. So, the copper transformer, the auto transformer, the copper winding mein lag raha hai, material. What do we say? By expression, we can say would be N1 minus N2 into primary current hai na aur secondary turns ke andar kitna current hai i2 minus i1 primary side mein we are having this much turns available for primary current secondary side mein this much current available for secondary turns aur jo two winding transformer mein hota hai that would be simply n1 i1 Plus N2 I2 के बराबर होता है. Ratio में, proportion में. तो जब हमें इनका ratio निकालना है, तो we can divide this equation by this. Copper ratio. As compared to two winding transformer, we want to check with auto transformer. तो इन दोनों equations को जब हम divide करते हैं, first को second से divide करते हैं, what we obtain is 1 minus 2 N2 I1 divided by N1 I1 plus N2 I2 and we know that N1 I1 should be equal to N2 I2 by transformation ratio. So we can write also this copper ratio as we can replace this term no. So it can be written as 1 minus 2 N2 I1 divided by 2N1 I1. So here, cancelling these two, we can say the ratio of copper required would be 1 minus N2 upon N1 
and this if we get in the percentage we can show this much copper is saved in case of auto transformer in comparison to two winding transformer let's see the expressions for developing the equivalent circuit so using kirchhoff's equations we can write voltage available for primary and secondary winding so jab hum primary pe supply voltage diye v1 uski wajah se jo emf induce hua plus drops in the primary winding where i1 current is flowing that is r1 plus jx1 and minus the portion where the current is not flowing this primary current is not flowing that is i2 minus i1 into r2 plus jx2 gives us this total voltage supplied on the primary on the same line we can write induced emf in a2 you uh, remembering the principle of operation of transformer right v1 voltage diya jo flux set hua uski wajah se hame emf induced hua primary side mein plus the drops in the winding aur jo secondary side par emf available hai that would supply to the load voltage across load plus the drop in the winding in secondary mane jitni winding mein current flow ho raha hai uska impedance multiplied by that current will give us these two expressions right so based on these we can draw the equivalent circuit now from these two we can draw the equivalent circuit as well as we can draw the phasor diagram magnetizing component can be written as re is equal to r1 plus k square r2 and xc can be written as x1 plus k square x2 so now we are having these as primary and secondary referred equivalent circuit as re xc and shunt component obviously we are having iron losses and copper losses both in auto transformer uh, क्योंकि रिडक्शन तो हो जाएगा कुछ कॉपर मटेरियल में बट वी नीड टू फंक्शन वी वन वी टू एंड ऑल द करेंट कॉम्पोनेंट्स आई नॉट योर आई वन आई टू एंड आर ई प्लस जे एक्स यो एंड ऑल्सो आर सी एंड एक्स एम सो दिस वे वी कैन प्लॉट इक्वेल सर्किट फॉर ऑटो ट्रांसफॉर्मर वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दिस as the components of k which may differ for auto transformer application ab hum is par based phasor diagram bana sakte hain based on these two equations so let us say flux is set up uh, in the core and is demonstrated by this x axis phi is the emf induced in primary winding would lead by 90 degree even and also the current current in primary winding may be somewhere here i1 current ko dekhte hue sabse pehle hame drop lena hai i1 in r1 and jx1 so i1 would be in this direction okay this is i1 r1 and here it is deducting this much portion of resistive drop i2 minus i1 into r2 so it should reduce it from here and this component is actually we can write it here i2 minus i1 into r2 okay and then is the re reactive drop which would be 90 degree at this angle so we can again sum up them here it is i2 i1 into x1 and this portion would be deducted from it so it is again in opposite direction somewhere here and this component can be taken as i2 minus i1 into x2 jahan par current ka impact primary side mein nahi hota inka summation hame deta hai supply voltage available on the primary which is v1 aur v1 aur i1 ke beech mein angle hai pi 1 which is the power factor angle so this is on the 
प्राइमरी साइड सो सेकेंडरी साइड का वोल्टेज यदि हम रेफरेंस लें समवेयर हियर तो करंट वोल्टेज स्टार्ट डाउन हो रहा है करंट वुड बी हायर करंट लेटेस से इज आई टू अब इसके अंदर हमें सबसे पहले देखना आई टू माइनस आई वन इन टू आर टू वुड बी रजिस्टिव ड्रॉप विच वुड बी इन फेज विद आई टू सो दिस कैन बी टेकन एज वाइल इट शुड बी वैल्यू एज आई टू माइनस आई वन इन टू आर टू एंड द रिएक्टिव ड्रॉप वुड बी इन क्वारेचर विद इट एंड इट्स वैल्यू वुड बी आई टू माइनस आई वन इन टू X2 and summing up these two means V2 plus these drops will give us induced EMF in the secondary side portion of auto transformer and that can be taken as this straight line ending here summing up these two and it is E2 and voltage V2 and I2 have this angle as phi 2 which is power factor angle available on the secondary side so this gives us phasor diagram for auto transformer